Can we use technology and AI to uplift rural farmers? The answer is yes, and Portugal taught us that. In places like Campania, in the city of Porto, community farming is a part of life. Families grow crops in small plots of lands and they eat what they grow. What comes from these small-scale rural farms feeds and sustains entire communities. But it's becoming harder and harder to be a community farmer. Weather patterns have become unpredictable, soil conditions are shifting and pests destroy crops in ways farmers can no longer foresee. The traditional knowledge passed down through generations is no longer enough. This has led to farmers guessing when to water, what to fertilize and how to protect their crops. So, we partnered with the city of Porto to change that. We built Clemigo, a smart farming solution that could help farmers with intelligent recommendations so they know exactly what to do to make sure their crops are healthy. Eu sou Alice, sou de Celurico de Basto. I'm Alice, I'm from Celurico de Basto and I live right here by the entrance in a building just next door. When I come to my garden here, I feel good. And I come over here, walk around, pull out a few weeds if nothing else is needed. I head home and I already feel better. Nós plantamos por acaso, não é? We plant by chance, don't we? We don't know what is needed and what is not. We plan because we like it, and if it grows, great. If not, that is fine too. Some days the plants need water, other days they don't. If we guess wrong, thinking they're thirsty when they're not, we sometimes end up drowning the plants. If you look at what humans need uh, the most for the universe and, and for the Earth to survive, food security comes on top. And the way city of Porto deals with food security is by encouraging community farmers to grow your own crops. And when farmers, when, when people who are not really farmers every day grow plants like in a community garden like this, uh, the problem is they also lack the institutional knowledge that comes by doing farming on a bigger scale. And our solution helps these community farmers uh, with expert advice uh, that you get only if you study agriculture uh, on the expert level. And, and our solution gives them that advice so that they can grow their own crops and make their families secure in terms of food. And uh, achieving food security on a country level or as a, as, as a nation um, we need to start with families and then when families become secure then communities become secure and that's how Portugal overall uh, becomes uh, uh, secure in terms of food. I had the opportunity and the luck to be invited to have sensors installed here at our home to analyze the plants, to analyze the trees and the quality of the soil. I decided to accept because I'm an amateur gardener. I think it will complement uh, the little knowledge I have about agriculture. This tool will allow us to take good care of the plants and prevent them from getting sick. So our solution has a hardware and a software part. And the software part has an artificial intelligence in it. So the hardware that we have um, is a seven-in-one soil sensor that goes into the soil that reads the parameters from the soil such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium which are essential for every crop but also checks for the pH level, uh, humidity level uh, and also the temperature of the soil. And uh, the software part uh, is a mobile app that you can install and the, in the app you can add a garden and you can add a plant and you can take pictures of the plant with the, um, uh, with the yield but, and also the uh, leaves and the overall plant. And we feed all of this information into an artificial intelligence model 
which will understand whether first of all whether everything is okay with the plant and number two if something is not okay how do we make it okay what can we do to make that better and uh, after the analysis is done the farmers get a recommendation in the mobile app and we try to make the recommendation as uh, simple as possible for the farmers to understand but also whenever there is a remedy required let's say you have less nitrogen in the soil or let's say the leaves are damaged by uh, some pest uh, the solution that the uh, app Clamigo gives we only focus on organic solutions and we focus on solutions that are accessible to community farmers um, so we you know for example we tell them um, you can use eggshell so you can use tea leaves um, and by doing that we encourage the farmers to use more organic uh, practices to grow the plant acredito que i believe this application will be a, a great asset for our um, permaculture plan here at casa Gered because uh, it will help us uh, avoid the need to uh, use chemicals pesticides and ultimately what we aim for is to preserve the essence and organic essence of organic farming and, and if, if we have uh, recommendations and uh, we know in more detail the, the characteristics of each plant, uh, what it needs, uh, what soil corrections must be made and if we can do them in a natural way it will be perfect because besides being able to improve the harvests, uh, the harvest will always be tasty and uh, without pesticides which is our main current and future goal. The instrumentation a horta uh, the introduction of this product in the urban vegetable gardens makes a lot of sense because we live in a time when technology needs to be more present in our needs and this is an issue nowadays bringing technology into urban vegetable gardens with this product we can predict in advance everything that's needed so that in the next 48 hours we can make the necessary adjustments in terms of fertilizer and humidity and with that reduce the number of diseases in the plant itself. Hoje todos falamos de inteligência artificial. Today everyone talks about artificial intelligence and seeing a company that brought artificial intelligence to be applied in urban vegetable gardens uh, that we have in Porto is indeed fantastic. Né? Uh, Clamigo AI helps measure through sensors what is in the soil, if there is any deficiency in terms of the soil's capacity to produce plants in good condition. Né? Com este aparelho, não é bem? Uh, this device will help us uh, work the land better and where there are problems so we can fix them and have better results that way. I love this. Uh, when I'm here, uh, I lose track of time. I do what needs to be done, walk around, pull weeds, hoe the soil. I like this, I love it. And this device uh, helps us get better results. So by building this solution, I also got the opportunity to spend a lot of time in Porto. Um, and uh, one thing, it, it feels really amazing that uh, the farmers are using the product and they are getting recommendations that are helping them grow their products, uh, the crops better. And the other side, dealing with farmers and seeing how excited they are that technology is helping them uh, is such a great feeling and I, I still remember when I was here last time uh, the farmers really felt excited and they wanted to do something for us um, and they uh, took me and my uh, colleague uh, uh, and they made a, a lunch uh, in their garden so I sitting with them having food that was made right in the garden um, was such a heartwarming thing. At RootCode, we see technology and AI as powerful tools to solve real human problems. From farming to many other areas that shape our lives. This work is part of a broader ambition to build intelligent, impactful solutions that push industries forward and bring meaningful change to the world. 
and from agriculture and farming all the way to healthcare and enterprise and government tech solutions, we at Root Code are on a mission to continue to build great technology that move the world.